Hello everyone, it's my channel today, we're doing a of Sign of Leo, and keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Leo. If you'd like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. Repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Also, find a bunch of things there in the description. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot and my oracle cards on there. A bunch of things there on my Etsy shop in the description down below. So if you go check that out, go and go buy something, really appreciate that. Currently have a sale going on there. Um, you can also find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. If you'd like donating to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So, um, let's do some prayers first here. Leo, we have number six with the goddess Kali over here. Alright, I know it looks a little bit spooky, but it's okay. It's the prayer part. It says, Wrathful Black Dakini, Mother of Wisdom, Grace, and Power, Trauma Nakamu, Krotakali, I bow before you with respect. I surrender to your workings. I humbly offer you the attachments, karmic seeds, and obscurations of mind and body, so that transformation and liberation may occur for the spiritual benefit of all beings. All defilements submit to your liberating presence. This is Jai Ma Kodakali. Alright, so that's the first one over there. And then we have this one as well, Kwan Yin, number 40. Says Divine Yin Empress, Mother of Compassion, Kwan Yin, Om Namaha. Peace, grace, light, and feminine power infuse your being with my heart now. May I be a vessel of the grace and healing of the divine feminine. May I live my soul truths on this planet. May fear and anger be softened with love. May I find the true nature of my spiritual power, and may I align with you. Beloved, into eternal grace of divine love. My devotion to the Yin Empress and her wish for all beings to be spiritually free grows in my heart now. I receive your love and protection. It says, um, many, many, hum. Okay, so, okay, er, Leo. There's some prayers for you today. Now let's get into your reading. Let's see what spirit has in store for yourself. Number 34 with life force energy. Alright, see everything on the card there? Make sure you see the card. We have number 39, art, ancient future. Number 52, the violet flame. Alright, the violet flame. There's like an angel attached to the violet flame. I don't remember which one. So let's get your last card. We have number 29 with harmonic flight. All right, look at this. So up here we have like the affinity symbol. Infinity symbol, I mean. All right, so let's read your cards. And yes, I'm going to be reading on the book. And if you don't like that, you can go elsewhere. So I think we have number 29. It's the first one. We have two nines here. Look at that. Significance to you. So seeing the divine in the eyes of another, relationships with deep bonds, karmic connection, clearing illusionary projections, life-changing connection, transmitting dissonance, removing heart armor, being seen, teamwork. Oh wait, look at this. Leo, there's someone here where you're seeing you're seeing how divine you, ch you each are, right? Now this could be a person already in your life, or it can be coming towards you, but you're like, you're like, there's a very big connection here happening. Okay. It says, the powerful image represents the divine we see when we look deeply into the eyes of another, and our armor drops. See, this is going to like, this is even going to take you, like, if you are a guarded person, you're having a person being brought to you where the connection is so strong, where it's like so divinely connected. Alright, and when I say divine, I mean actually divine where they do not pull any sort of bull crap. Alright, Leo? Where it, like, it removes all them walls you may have. Or if you're already open, cool, right? When we meet another being present in the moment with no stories, judgments, or insecurities.
It says, when we see the person standing before us as the gods and goddesses they are, it is a reminder that we are what we perceive in others. But also, when we drop into the mindless space of pure essence, we might see the world seeing us, seeing them, seeing the infinite, eternal, allowing all that is. It says, many people are seeking their twin flame as life-changing, world-rocking, and unfathomably beautiful finding the soul can be, it is quite possibly one of the most in most intensely confronting, trigger-provoking, and sometimes painful connections we can have. Alright, Leo, look at this. We're having a twin flame here, is what it seems like. Those who are most dear to us can bring us to our greatest growth. Maybe it's going to trigger a lot of growth within you as well, but that is why spending extended periods with our family can be challenging. When we see and be seeing, disarmor, and trusting, we can come to deeper love. However, this deepening process can trigger the release of outdated, unhealthy patterns. Thus, shadows may be brought to the surface and to heal. When we feel safe in the arms of our beloved, our defenses yield so we shall further into our hearts. However, fear-based reflections or projections can surface in this place of deep vulnerability. Subconscious behavior, including, including childhood patterns, can also present themselves. It can be seen as if our partner is provoking difficulties, bringing things up and making it feel like our whole world is about to fall apart. At this point, we may want to retreat, but if we can be truly present, our fears can fall away, and this becomes an expansive experience. When we have a profound twin flame connection that feels beyond worlds and lifetimes, we bond with the other person so strongly that we choose to face the fire when we would usually walk away. Our passion drives us to seek the resolution. To heal ourselves, to overcome barriers, no matter how comforting it, confronting it can be. Because our partnership is worth it, and when we can rise together, somehow, incredibly, the universe seemingly aligns the places the twin flames need healing. Their triggers may be synchronized so that when they feel uncentered, or there's a codependence or imbalance, they can, it can feel like a very volatile space. If they find safety in love, and they are willing to see and be seen, their triggers can blossom into deep transformative healing for them. This healing can forge the foundations for long-term companionship. Alternatively, this completion can mark an ending. As the intense potency of a connection neutralizes, the relationship may transform into a different kind of unconditional love. Harmonic flight shows us that when we harmonize our energies with that of another in any form of relationship, we can soar to the sky. We can guide each other higher and higher by encouraging all that has been weighing us down to drop away. He says, what you see in the eyes of another is a reflection of yourself. See, this person going to be reflecting a lot of yourself here. This card may be encouraging you to look at the bigger picture of a close relationship. A perceived challenge may be an illusion or projection. This card may relate to family, teamwork, community, and ways you can harmonize into citizens for deeper growth. The bonds you share give you the power to transmit your fears. Put time and awareness into resolving karmic connections or they will continue to play out. It may also be a life-changing connection on the horizon. For 34. It says, Energy, Mana, Aina, the Rainbow, Spectrum, Bright White Light, Riki, Celebrating Life, God Force, Optimal Health, Being Vibrantly Alive, Thriving Nature, Conscious cons Consumption, Eden, the body is a temple, bringing earth into balance, cell rejuvenation, the love of the land. What happens when we seek to maximize life force energy in everything we do? It says, it is time for celebration. Revel in the bliss of being alive. This is an incredible healing card packed with luminous life force energy for optimal health and healing. Reminds you to seek joy and uplift everything you do. So put more, more life into what you do. Put more passion into what you do. This is going to be a time of celebration, Leo. There's going to be so much good here. As much as possible. Consider the foods you eat, the environments you spend time in, the people in your life, and even the things you wear. Increase your awareness of their journey. How can they, how they came to be in your world and their energetic resonance. Are they alive and vibrant? You may also be inspired to work with healing energy such as Riki, or with the land, perhaps grow vegetables. You're encouraged to joyously make your life as a piece of Eden. As a result, you'll shine with vitality. So we have number 39. Wisdom from indigenous people. Ancestors holding the keys for the future. 
Ancient remembering bloodlines. How the past affects the future. It's time to step up. Timelessness power symbols activation for power shifts. All right. Right now, the legends of the Lemurian civilization feel important as the wisdom from this ancient time is relevant. The fall of Lemuria alerts us to the possibility that humanity may face if we live without respect for the earth. An ancient remembering is emerging. Many of the seed crystals and the knowledge they are imbued with are becoming unearthed. All those who can see the better future are not just dreaming it. Their hearts and minds are hearkening to the core of the earth-based traditions to bring through the knowledge that will help us shift this paradigm into balance. It's said that Lemurians who survived the fall traveled the planet and ended up in places where inspiring indigenous knowledge. Far ways the western minds have come to prioritize. The ancient Egyptians, Mayans, Inca, Tibetans, Bowers, indigenous Australians, and Hopi are examples. These ancient knowledge keepers of earth and ethers have been holding the key for a new world. See that ancient knowledge, Leo. It's accessing ancient knowledge and integrating it with life force, right? And everything that you do. Called back to our roots to acknowledge the infinite wisdom available. See that? See that? Look at that. Infinity symbol. Infinite wisdom. There. Available when we drop into our knees in humble receptivity. To move gracefully forward, we must first stand in our power for the places, ethics, and conservation of what matters most. When we heal ourselves, we often heal our ancestors also. As illuminated beings ready to make a change in the collective consciousness, we can sometimes take on what seems like far more than our share of karma. We may be clearing some of the wounds from our ancestors. With this in mind, we can ease through the waves, allowing guidance and empowered perspective to lead us to the greatest good. Since this card is imbued with activations for a new parenting, you are now being showered with blessings in preparation for a transformation. It may be turbulent at times, but you will grow and heal through the coming journey. Partake in activities that help you drop into a meditative state as often as possible. Use clearing tools to raise your vibration. And don't get caught up on the destination. Focus on your journey in experience. You can navigate a situation you have no experience with by being truly present. Inti integrity and intuition will be your guide. See, look at this. You're going through a journey here, Leo. Right, it's time you not to focus on the outcome. Raise your vibration. All right. Putting this spiritual ancient knowledge into everything that you're doing. And bringing it to life. Like putting more life, putting more passion into your daily life here. You're going to be showered with blessings. The more and more you do that. Number 52. Says your psychic toolkit. Recentering practices. Deepening your energetic awareness. Clearing your aura. Healthy energetic boundaries. Protection. Removing trauma from your field. Maintaining a high vibration. Rebalancing after times of raised frequency. As we deepen our spiritual path. Stepped out of illusionary constructs and become self realized, empowered beings, life may present us with more opportunities to grow than before. When we explore our innate healing ability, we may experience our expanding consciousness as deeply blissful and illuminating. Our glimpses of higher awareness can be found by periods of intensity as we return to normal. These uncomfortable experiences are shadow elements, unaligned with the higher frequency, dropping away so. We can maintain our new frequency. Your sensitivity will be heightening, so it may be harder to spend time in places with frantic activity. You may feel disoriented, have emotional ups and downs, and even physical symptoms. Daily practices for recentering will help you drop into yourself and be present and still, away from busy mind and chattering distractions. There are so many ways to meditate, so experiment and find what works for you. There's no way to do it wrong, says yoga. This is Qigong. Painting or walking are just a few examples. We can learn to protect and maintain the energy we cultivate in ourselves, not from fear, but through a healthy awareness of what is ours and what is the energy of others. As we expand our consciousness, our empathy may increase. Maintaining energetic sovereignty will allow for heartfelt exchanges with healthy boundaries. Just as we keep our body fit and healthy, it's good to ensure our energy field is free from anything that no longer serves us. We all experience some level of trauma as we go through life. The effects can stay in our aura, if unaddressed, may influence our physical and emotional well-being. 
There may be ways to clear your energy field. Seeing an energetic healer or clearing or learning clearing methods you can do yourself. It can also be helpful when you feel dense, heavy, triggered, sluggish, or down. Being able to kickstart a positive vibration so you can regain perspective can be the key to flowing through situations that seemed overwhelming or unsurmountable. Work with the violet flame to transmute anything that is not for your highest good into love. See, anything that does not, you know, that's weighing you down, connecting with the violet flame there. Now, there might be meditations that you can do for that. I'm not sure. You'd have to look on YouTube. Either way. Violet flame. Transmute anything that's not for your highest good into love. The flame is simple to visualize and a powerful tool that can be used by anyone. You can also visualize it you know, as you're meditating. I right, visualize it like taking that trauma there, all right, the things that don't serve you, taking that, and then like transmuting it, transforming it into higher vibrations, all right, higher vibrations of love. So transmuting fear into love, transmuting anger into love, all right, not just romantic love, but love that you feel when you just feel happy. You understand? It says consider your psychic tool kit. Do you have a range of accessible go-to practices for recentering, cleansing your aura, and protecting your energy? An exercise routine for psychic fitness will help you keep your aura strong and resilient, your energy sovereign, and your vibration high. Maintaining clear and vibrant energy will also help you see through illusions that may be blocking or disorienting you. Bring the violet flame into your meditation and self-care practices for graceful rebalance after heightened energy levels. All right, Leo. So that's messages for you. Just keeping that vibration high, and then that's when you're going to see this like very... That's when you're going to have a very divine twin flame enter your life. It's going to be a very divine connection. Alright? Very intense. That's what it's telling you. So, get some room and trust yourself. Okay, what do we have? We have the number nine, which may be a significance to you. But we did have that there. Two nines. And we have the North Node. North Node. Um, the North Node, Leo. You have to see what's in your North Node. But North Node is like your guiding of what to do in this present life. Alright? Kind of guides you in a way. It's who you are in the... Or what you're supposed to integrate in this, into this current lifetime. Alright, maybe you're on life path 9 or something? I don't know. We have Hathor. We have Anubis. We have Obsidian, which is a protective stone. We have this Dragon Moon, which could be a symbol of Kuan Yin over there. We have Virgo. Alright, maybe you have Virgo uh, North Node. Or you know someone who does. Oh, we have another one over here. We have Taurus. Maybe you have Taurus North Node. Leo. I didn't even see that there. We have Ra. We have Besta. We have Horus. We have the Green Man, which you connect to. We have a Chinese Zook saying, got the monkey over here. We have a gateway opening for you. So, that's all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below for personal reading. Also, go to my Etsy shop. Want to go buy something? Really appreciate that. And if you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.